Hi, welcome back to Chris Stevens Golf. Today I'm doing a product review on the Shrixen AD333 golf balls. Why don't you join me on this journey? So, where do I start with the Shrixen AD333 golf ball? Now, Strixon say that this is the best selling two piece golf ball on the market at the moment. So, this is a slightly older model um, than what's currently available, but not much has changed with it really. The newer model, which I'll chuck in the description below, which I have played with in the past, these are just what I've got left over from Christmas about 10,000 years ago. Uh, comes with a highly resilient and soft Rabalon HR Plus and pa Panatetra blended thin co cover. So basically, they call that spin skin. So um, the skin of the ball, say that's the face of the club. So the skin on the ball grips to the club for longer which in theory as you strike it should generate more spin on the ball that's what they're saying with further testing you'll probably find it makes about 500 revs a difference i don't think it's a massive a massive difference yeah like i say they it they class it as their the the most popular golf ball in the world so you can kind of read into that what you like yeah. every company says that they've got the best golf ball in the world um, I used to game this ball personally so I know how good it is so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna set up my putting mat grab a putter that I've got lying around and uh, Hit a few putts and tell me what my thoughts and feelings are on this ball. My first thoughts when putting the club down by the ball is it looks like any other golf ball on the market. Um, also, I will say for today's test, I'm using the Odyssey Tank number seven. It's not a belly putter, it's a counterbalance one but I've got a bit fat over Christmas. Um, so yeah, looking down at the ball, you know, it's white, it's got dimples. Uh, this particular model's got blue line-up line, which is quite good to line it up with the target. Now, feelings are subjective, a bit like spin. Some people will get better response, some people will get worse. But the feel is quite nice off the face. I didn't really hit that one. Um, also, I will say today, when I'm recording this, it's about minus one outside. So, there is not a chance that I was going to go and practice outside, so I'm using my indoor putting mat for today. So yeah, it feels quite firm off the face, um, which I'd expect with a two-piece ball that's... Um, got a ceiling cover but you know it feels good like I say I've gained this ball in the past I've had very good success with this ball in the past you know it, it's a ball that I would quite happily put back in, put back in the bag um, and I think for a lot of golfers you know that want to play a better ball you know, the, there's always good offers. Like I say, I, I've linked in the description below uh, where I actually the best deal I've found at the moment, uh, which is about fifteen ninety nine for a dozen. So yeah, I do like the ball. I suppose you could class me as a little bit biased because I've used shrinks and balls up until very recently um, 
when I switched from the Shrixen to the Vice. But I do like it. Um, it's a ball that I predominantly use in the winter, not necessarily in the summer. So, see if we can go for three in a row, shall we? Yeah. To round up, I do think this ball is very good and it is a, a very attractive price point. And what you've got to remember is, you know, this ball is designed to suit all handicaps. They don't push it as their tour ball or as one of their premium balls. It is very much a ball designed for everybody to use. Like I said, I have used it in the past. I wouldn't even doubt about going back to it. It would just be something that I could put straight back in. The reason why I haven't put it back in the bag is that I'm currently enjoying using the Vice Golf Balls. I have got a review on my channel for them. Go check them out as well. But like I say, Strixen is a great ball. It can be used by anybody. It's for anybody. It comes in white and yellow. Prices start from around... 13 quid a dozen. I have linked the best deal that I found for them below. Go check it out. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked the review. I hope you found it informative. But I will say, I and mean, I will stress, to go and test everything for yourselves. Don't just take my word for it. Go and check it out for yourselves. You know, every pro shop in the land probably sells them, and you could probably get a sleeve of three for about four quid. So, yeah, check them out. Check out my other videos. Like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you again next time. So, my point in completely the wrong direction there. Fuck it. So, my first thoughts, I'm just going to get the camera in exactly where I want it. That might just about have me in. So, my first thoughts, a ball designed for everybody to use. Like I said, I have used it in the past. I wouldn't even doubt about going back to it. It would just be something that I could put straight back in. The reason why I haven't put it back in the bag yet 